beautiful place today and I was just gonna tell you a couple stories and things while we're here reminiscing like the old days one time I was at an internet cafe in a city called Banga Banga is just a little area a little city town thing it's not even a city it's a town just uh, north of Kalibu and I went in to go on the internet I had my motorcycle helmet because I always ride a motorcycle and the guy said I know you you're the bumblebee and I said what and he said I watched you at the Grand in the Industry Hills you were a racer a motorcycle racer and I said how did you know that was me and he said buy your bumblebee helmet and I'm like 7,000 miles away from the Grand and the guy was watching the Speedway races online back in the day I was really shocked the guy knew me from the internet and from the races. I was really shocked. When I lived in England, the words meant different in English and then in the English language. And the same is true while being in the Philippines. There's lots of things, lots of words that we use in America that they don't use in the Philippines and they use in the Philippines that they don't use in America. So let's talk about that right now. In the Philippines, if you use the word trike, it's like a motorcycle driver. And they're very proud if you run into a trike driver in the Philippines they think they're very special they drive a trike and they look really great However, in America, if you drive a trike, you're a baby. You're a little gaga goo goo baby. It's not really cool to say, I drive a trike in America. But in the Philippines, you're the bomb if you drive a trike. You're a trike driver. But in America, you're just a little baby. several times I've been in restaurants in the Philippines and I needed a napkin because in America that's what you wipe your face with and I go up to the lady or the man and I would say hey I need a napkin and they look at me and say what and I said a napkin I need a napkin and they're like uh -uh. Uh, I said, I need a napkin to wipe my face with. And they're like, we don't have one of those. In the Philippines, a napkin is like a cotex what the girls wear when they have their monthly period. And so I'm asking them for a napkin. And in the Philippines, it's called tissue. So you must ask for a tissue. If you ask for a napkin, they look at you very funny. Thank you so much for joining me in the jungle. We had lunch together today. So thank you so much and appreciate it. And it was just a silly blog today and hope you enjoyed it anyways. So 
go ahead and watch another video here of mine they're all over the place here and please like share subscribe and please ring that bell